So to create a new website in IIS using PowerShell, we need to use the new website commandlet. And I should point out that I've already got IIS installed. So if I use the new website commandlet, give it a name, and then of course point it to the path of the website, it's going to give me output here. We've got the name, we've got the port 80 bindings. But if we use the get web binding commandlet, so look at all bindings, you notice I've got, we got two of them. So that's because the first one uh, is a default site. Uh, but to look specifically at the bindings for one website, we can use the get website commandlet and give it the name of the site. So this block right here. And you notice this is the same output that we got from when we created the website. Uh, so we'll, we'll specifically look at the bindings property, bindings.collection. And that actually is the same output as get web binding, but it's just for this single website. So to set up SSL for the site, now, uh, the first thing we need to do is create a new web binding using new web binding commandlet. Give it the name of the site. Uh, for IP address, I'm specifying asterisk here. This will grab all of them. And then for port 443, of course, and then protocol HTTPS. So we'll create the new web binding. And so now if we use that same get website dot bindings dot collection commandlet, you notice we've got a new binding. So the only problem here is we haven't specified a certificate. So let's do that. So I don't have an internal PKI infrastructure. So I'm going to create a new self-signed certificate using the new self-signed certificate commandlet. Put it in the machine's personal store and of course giving it the correct DNS name. And you can see I'm also assigning this to the cert variable. That's so that here for the cert path, I can actually uh, reference the thumbprint of that certificate. And then the provider path, this is the path to the SSL bindings in IIS. So you can see IIS colon slash SSL bindings. And then at 0.0.0.0, .0, .0, .0 uh, that means all IP addresses and then the exclamation point is just in this notation, it replaces the colon. So port 443 on the end. So I'll sign that to the provider path variable. And so now if we use get item to look at the cert path variable, that's going to give us the certificate. And then so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that to create a new item in the SSL bindings of IIS. So that's what this line 26 is doing. And so you can see there that under the sites header that it actually has demo site. Let's walk over to the console here. So I'm going to go ahead and refresh my IIS manager. So we expand out the web server, expand out sites. We see here we've got our demo site. This is the website we just created. If I right click on this, uh, go to edit bindings, you can see I've got both my HTTP and HTTPS bindings. So I'll select the HTTPS, click edit, and you can see here I've even got that SSL certificate. So that's how you create a new website with SSL using PowerShell. Thanks for watching.